<laughs> Big Daddy Beef Boy has said, how much of today's product do you feel is failing because of the abandonment of kayfabe and the rise of podcasts? How can a product that relies so much on suspension of disbelief expect to do well when the product is immediately surrounded by detailed information of why it isn't real? Yeah. Uh, again, I don't think there is a place for the why it isn't real. Uh, I don't walk into a movie and go, I know that none of this is real. I know Michael Myers doesn't really exist. Or I know Darth Vader doesn't really exist. Uh, for the viewer, rather than trying to constantly figure it out or think that you're staying one step of a step ahead, maybe approach from the same point. I'm watching this like a movie. Um, and I know this guy is, this actor is playing that role and that actor is playing that role and approach it from that point of view. I don't think, like I said earlier, you don't need to beat people over the head, but it's fake or it's real present it. And if you present it in, in a way that the, I think where the problem of the breaking of the kayfabe comes is not so much in podcasts because you know, there's a million and one stories that get told in these podcasts. I think it's more that the younger generation has decided that this is no longer important. So we don't need to worry about that. We can just move on and, and just wink, wink, pretend, uh, well, if, you know, stop and think again of Michael, you know, the actor playing Michael Myers, if every five seconds he was pulling a mask up and winking into the camera, or like, <laughs> you know, playing up the camera, you'd be, it would turn Halloween into a comedy instead of the unnerving, freaky movie it was the first time I watched it. Uh, allow yourself to suspend the disbelief. And I don't think that we, we need to have, uh, imagine five, ten minutes, an hour after me throwing Gary Wolf down with a halo. If you'd have turned on the computer and there's me and Gary sitting there going, hey, can you believe they bought that? Mm -hmm. Oh, look how they reacted. This is great. Uh, there To me, there is zero reason for that. And any more than I want to see the guy playing Darth Vader, like taking the mask up going, hey, don't worry. I'm not really chopping Luke Skywalker's hand off. Uh, just just present it and let it be as it is. Uh, pay oh, pay respect to that, of what you just, uh, uh, just performed. The... Uh, when you see the WrestleMania experience and you see all these pictures leading up to WrestleMania and here's Taz and here's the franchise. And there he got this big match this Sunday on, on WrestleMania and here they are in tuxedos, having a glass of wine together or a beer together. Why? I mean, uh, the, okay. So wink, wink, we're, we're going to let y'all see the inside, the inner workings. What does that matter? Do you need to know how the engine under the hood works to be able to drive the car? No, you get in start the car up, drive away. Same thing with wrestling. I think our business does a disservice by we collectively, uh, the talent, expose you know constantly going out of our way to expose it to the business to try to gain a fan or two or three or a hundred uh, to saying okay, well hip hip wink wink, we're in on it too. Well, uh, I've just done all the sweat that I just poured, all the broken bones that I've endured, uh, all the surgeries that I've gone through. That's all for naught now. It's just like oh don't it's it's all BS. Just go with it. And I think when you see those iconic moments of like the the halo throw down and 1,100 people literally rioting, uh, there is an eloquence there that's you could if you have the trained eye to look in between and see Gary's portrayal, Anthony's portrayal, Franny's portrayal, my portrayal, Paul's depiction of the entire thing that makes that work. Uh, I, I would dare say for that split second that those fans go from yikes to jumping the railing. Nobody was going, Wonder, is this, you think it's a work or not? Is this real or not? They reacted. They mm -hmm. viscerally reacted. Um, the same thing in our business. And, and I am no more or less talented than anybody on AEW today uh, or on WWE today or any of the other promotions. Uh, present it. Stop with the wink, wink inside view. Uh, it's irrelevant. Uh, you know, again, any more than the actors in a movie, uh, you know, somebody writing the book that, you know, the, the prologue to the book is, Hey, everything you're about to read is all bullshit. Don't it's a, it's all a work. This is all fake. This is just a novel. And this is what that means. Why even put that in there? You're going to take the time to sit down on that keyboard and, you know, type that thing up and print it out and sell it and everything else. Allow the reader to let their brain take them where they want it to go. And the same thing with the presentation of, of our sport. I, I think we, we, we've we digressed too much, like I said earlier, 
Uh, we've ex- the business has been exposed enough. Uh, there's no more revolution in in exposing more of the. Hey, by the way, don't forget it's fake. Um, which, which is the wrong word to use. Um, it, play it. Uh, the formula uh, implemented. If the heel knows how to get heat, and that's a big if. Uh, and the baby face knows how to shine, and that's a big if. If the storyline forces the viewer to think about it, not the how many times I heard in different places, I don't think the crowd's going to understand that. Okay, you're so brilliant, you do, but the schmucks out there can't. And even the ones that can aren't going to go, ah, I'm never coming back. I don't understand what the hell they're doing in the ring. Why are they doing that? No, everybody in that room is going to go, oh, whoa. And afterwards, let their brain turn, let that sands of time flicker through. And the whole time, they're going to be thinking about what they just saw. And at the end, they're going to form an opinion. I hate the son of a bitch. I love the guy or girl. I can't wait to come back or I'm never coming back again. Those are all visceral reactions. And go more for that. That's what acting is. I hate to let everybody break every other secret. But, you know, uh, you know, when you're watching uh, uh, Brian Cranston, you know, execute 15 people with that high powered machine gun in the final episode. Uh, nobody sitting at home going, thank God, this is all fake. I did. I love Brian Craze. I don't want to murder anybody. Just watch it, enjoy it and take it as presented. And, uh, and I think that does require at some points for us as the talent to lay off a bit. And does it matter that I'm getting online and saying, Hey, don't worry. Gary's fine. Uh, mm-hmm. it's all pretend. Uh, or just let it sit, let it breathe, let them and let their brain take it where it's going to, to take it. It's like the old horror movies, right? When you saw Dracula back in the day, they weren't allowed to show the blood and guts. They weren't even allowed to show in the earliest Dracula. They weren't even allowed to show the two bloody fang marks on the neck. So you'd see him opening his jaw close, tight in on Dracula's face. Then a close up of her neck getting closer and closer back to his face. Then the shadow on the wall and you hear a bit of a muffle. Meanwhile, your brain's going, what the fuck's happening? And your brain's filling in all those blanks as opposed to <laughs> rip it out, squirt blood, squirting every place. Uh, one's comical and one makes you go, Oof, my skin's crawling. Ask which one is which. Uh, and I think in our business, the same thing, we could do a lot better job. Uh, not that we're trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes or, just trying to, oh, damn it, but take it as we give it to you. It's not that. Present it. Present it believably. If you believe it, they're going to try to believe it. And instead of this, can me get online now and just tell them exactly what happened so nobody hates me. I don't want to lose a T-shirt sale. Uh, present it and let it sit as it is. 